welcome back to more Monster in the World, where last time we fought the, the Toby Kodachi with no immune system. This time, they want us to go talk to uh, the field commander, that too. But first, hey buddy, where are you next time it's on one of that big brute in the ancient forest, eh? Better, no better time to stock up. Products in stock. Figured we'd be needing them. But, well, let's see if you have what I want. Let's see. No. I think he gets it towards... Towards the end of the... First half. Get the out. Oh my, it's finally sprouted, which means our ancient tree research can finally start to flourish. I couldn't wait a moment. I set up a quest right away. Would you mind signing up for the prickly predicament? We're trying to determine how we can increase the types of fruits and berries that the tree produces. But we need lots of plant samples to do it. And you look like you need some real, some relaxing botany work. That's just a collection quest. The chef wants to talk. Okay. Oh. Who else wants to talk here? Just the chef. So let's go talk to the Meow Skeeler Chef. Since the crossing, work here in the new world has gotten tougher than ever, and that means you need to get tougher. The old canteen is starting to look kind of canteenian. In my house, we don't plateau, we make gains. And so I did. A little flexing and now the canteen is bulked up with all kinds of new meals. Having more choices for your pre-hunt meal menus, you have way more to flex on monsters. Win-win for everyone, except monsters. Did you both help? Uh, okay, I guess I'll take his word. You interested in bulking up the canteen with more ingredients? Now that's what I'm talking about. Take care of the quest getting yoked in the waist and we'll get that menu so beefy you can grill it. The canteen can't get yoked if I don't have that yolk. Go get my pro protein. Ha <laughs> ha! No! I hate the, the egg delivery quest. I, don't, I honestly just hate them. Um, yeah. Hello. All right. Hey, welcome back. We finished securing uh, base. Only thing, only one thing left to do. That's right, your old buddy, Anjanath. Before we attempt to capture Zora Magdos, we need to hunt that Anjanath down. Can't have it interfering. It's one tough ad adversary. So stay on your toes. Oh, before I forget, the chef said he started putting more protein into your pre-hunt meals, whatever that means. So it should help if you hunt. Either way, drop by the canteen and later and find out for yourself. Anyway, a m powerful monster like Anjanath won't be easy to take down. Remember everything you've learned. Nothing back. The objective is urgent, meaning it should be your top priority. Use everything at your disposal and hit that brute with all you've got. Okay, time to wrap up defending the base. Hey! I see you've gotten your hands on some specialized tools. Different specialized tools will help you out in different ways you, when you use them on quests. Just don't forget to equip them. You can manage them in your equipment box, just like all of your other gear. Once you're out on the quest, you can use the specialized tools the same way as all as items. For now, the equipment you got is all we've managed to complete, but more is supposedly coming down the line. Exciting, huh? 
Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and talk to the handler. Don't give us the nice good quest of hunting down the engine now. And then we're gonna go hunt the engine now. I think I'm good enough right now. Alright, partner, the last step uh, to securing Astero's defenses is to take out that troublemaker, Angela. We While it is one nasty monster, I'm sure you'll be okay. I mean, it looks like a giant ball of cotton candy with sharp, sharp teeth. And a flamethrower. But we're not going to talk about the, the flamethrower. It's fine. Not like I'm gonna get toasted. I actually don't remember which one inspired the star at. Oh yeah, he did bulk it up. We get the cutscene whenever he bolts up the canteen. Which does happen a few times in the story. Chef's choice. Go on this hunt. Our number one priority is to secure the base by taking out that encroaching Anginac. Use everything at your disposal. That's the way it works here in the New World. So I'm going to just go ahead and make up the knife for right away before we go over there. Actually, where am I going? I have a general idea of where to go at this point, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. So just follow the footprints, I guess. Anjanath is the next monster. I hope my gear is good enough to take Anjanath on. It'd really suck if it wasn't. Alright, where are we going? This one? Nope. Yes, we are going this way. Can you make up your mind, game? That would be really nice if you'd make up your mind of which way to go. Ah, yes, that's where I need to be.
I see you're ready to fight me, Anjanath, or are you? Alright, let's do this. And I'm horrible with aiming my attacks. How has, how has it come to this? Let's see. Can I pull off? Well, you got one hit, but I missed the second one. There's no place to hide around here. Time to try out your ghillie mantle. And look, I can see at least like one place to hide. Okay, let's do this real quick. And now. I forgot to make those better healing uh, items beforehand. Nah, he's not under it. So! Ow. So I may suck at hunting the engine at. That is a very good possibility. I mean, you can't blame me. Anjanath is a pretty difficult monster early on. And that's the comment that uh, everyone's going to latch on to and uh, say, no, the Anjanath's not a difficult monster. And in which I respond. I I have trouble with the first hunt against the internet, okay? Oh old scales. I forgot this that one shows up. And down I go. That's fun. Please don't jump down after me. Oh! Well, would you look at that? Hey, you got poison. You got poison, so now it's time for me to take advantage of your weakened state. Okay, never mind, you're mad at me. Understandable, have a great day. Come on. Um. Time out real quick. Thank you. Alright, time back in. Uh, I see that you are charging up a flamethrower there, bud. Mind if I hit your throat? you hit me? Oh, hello. Hey, it's her four. That's the perfect distraction. Yeah, every now and again, monsters can fight each other in a turf four. You always want the monster that you're not hunting when you get the monster that you are hunting, which, um, I believe Anjanath wins loses this fight. Yeah, there he goes. Because they also take massive amounts of damage. Now I need to also run away from this hand from this wrath hand. Wrath close. Wait, 
Why is the map still so following me? All I can say is I'm glad I'm away from his manager flamethrower. I mistimed that, didn't I? Yep. Oh well. I do end up mistiming that a lot. That job is always gets me. When he digs into the ground like that. Come on. It's a pretty decent sized engine that too. So I say that it's uh Massive one? No. It's a decent sized one though. And I'm gonna be wrong about that at the end of this run. If we even reach the end of this one. for a bigger boss. I'd love for you to heal me. Hey, where are we going, by the way? I'd really like to know. Oh. Move out of the way of that. And stab him and die. And too bad blindness isn't a thing in this game because he would be half blinded. And I always miss the uh, last shot. Hey, don't you think about doing anything? Yeah, I figured I was getting hit. Um, so I got distracted for a second there. And this is really bad. So, um, yeah. Let's hope that I don't die again and run into a uh, Rathlos would uh, risk me dying that's for sure so let's try this again hello I see you down here I see that you have your flamethrower building up. How did I get put on fire? You can roll around on the ground three times or just roll into water once. Either way puts the fire out. I still don't understand how it got put on fire, but hey, that's just monster armor for you. Some things hit you when they shouldn't, and the game always hates you. The game always hates you in that. Hey, you're tired. Let's go. Uh, kill me. Uh, finally 
got that tail off. Been having pretty bad luck with that recently. What on limping are you? You shouldn't be. Are you limping? No, you're just tired. Well, I'll get back to hunting you in a second. I'm going to go with the safer strategy this time and actually use a, a trap. And how to use a trap is basically you wait until the monster's limping and then put a trap down at some point that so they go into it. And then you uh, knock them out with uh, some trank bombs. That's it. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of those because it's generally safer. You can change your weapons and armor. You can it, use the item box to manage your inventory. It's generally safer to use a trap if I even have any. I hope I do. I have enough for a shock trap. But do I even have the trank bombs? No, I don't. Looks like I'm hunting him down for real. Generally it's safer to use a trap when the monster's almost dead because they tend to get more aggressive when they're close to death. At least I think they do. I could be completely wrong. I think I'm right anyways. I'm sure there's some uh, I'm sure some people would correct me on that. I hope I'm right. It's just how I've always uh, seen it. They always seem to get more aggressive when they're close to death. I'm not. Thank you for recovering my stamina finally. Did I carve the tail? I think it carved it. about to do quite a bit of damage. Oh, hey. Speaking of close to death. I'm going to be completely honest. All these hunts I've done in the uh, series so far have been a lot faster than I usually have them. And I don't know why. Yeah, I'm just going to follow him for a little bit. You don't usually want to be in front of a monster when you get to a climbable wall or have to push through things or anything. You want to be behind the monster usually because they will hurt you. They will hurt you. Got these snatches. Gashes, whichever one they are, and continue after the Anjana. Is this your final stand? I'm gonna take that as a yes. So let's do this final stand here where you want the uh, engine Oh jeez, you really do want a final stand, don't you? 
okay game? That's an extremely awkward... okay. Oh, another turf war. That's extremely awkward, though, because the game did play a second of the, the grab animation, because monsters can also grab you. It played a second of that, but then cancelled it immediately. Also, the reason I've been trying to hit the internet's throat when it's all fired up like that is because, um, because it's actually a lot weaker and does damage if I do enough damage to it. It does some bonus damage, one could say. But looks like I didn't need that bonus damage. Now that the base is secure, we can focus our attention towards capturing Zora Magdaros. I've never had uh, a hunt where uh, the monster has a turf war twice. So that's fun. And that was the engine now. The fire, the flame, the throw T Rex. I would have trapped it, but uh, I didn't have any trank bombs. And I didn't have any way to make any. Looks like the shop is actually useful. Oh, wait, I had a research level on Angela. I did not realize that. Yeah, it wasn't anything too special size-wise. Oh well. We have much to discuss. All our preparations are complete, and I have all of you to thank for working double time to make it happen. I'm especially impressed with the fifth for hunting the Anjanath despite being new here. Wait, how long has that Anjanath been uh, bothering you guys? That's one less misery standing between us and capturing Zora Magdaros. Well done. I would like an answer to that question, though. How long has it been bothering you guys? When will Zora reach the Great Ravine? Precisely at daybreak. Good. Let's run through the operation one last time, then. Our hunters will rendezvous on site. Once the beast appears, the operation will commence. We've built two barriers in the target's path. Your objective is to stop it at the first barrier. Initially wearing it down with cannon and ballista fire, then restrain it with binders. However, there is a chance it will break through. If so, we'll initiate the mounting phase of the operation. How big of a chance of it breaking through? A small chance or a big chance? Because I have a feeling it's a big chance because of it being an elder dragon and all. But hey, that, that's just me. During this phase, we'll attempt to weaken it further, so that we'll have a better chance of restraining it at the second barrier. Make sure you hammer it as much as possible with cannons and ballista. They're there for a reason. Affirmative, sir. Really? Technicians, make sure you do a final check on the equipment before we begin. Yes, sir. Quartermasters, conduct an inventory on our supplies. Researchers, proceed to the Great Ravine with your escort as soon as you're ready. 
We can't bring our quarry back to base. So take what you need and be prepared to conduct your research on site. Don't worry, Commander. Everything will be in order. <laughs> You're saying we can't bring a mountain back to base? You're saying there's no physical way for us to pick up a mountain and bring it back to base? Now you're just being in uh, now you're just being insane. Keep your ears open during the operation. I'll be giving orders as the situation unfolds. May the sapphire star light your way. Dismissed. All right. Wow. The big moment is finally hey, here. Shut up. I'm shaking up a storm here. How about you? No. That will be the end of this episode. Okay, bye. Next episode... Yeah, we'll take down the... Uh, mountain. And try to capture it. I think the commander's gone a bit insane. No. So... Yeah. Goodbye, and if you like the episode... Why not leave it a like and uh, subscribe if you like the videos I've put out. Until next time, bye.